then we are going to study about the construction waste management. So what do you mean by construction waste? So it is nothing but during the construction, we'll be using a lot of materials. When starting in the beginning of the construction, that is maybe a site clearance and the excavation and during the construction, the construction means it might be a building or it can be even a road work or even the construction of dams, whatever. So there will be materials will be left out. So that uh, waste materials, we are calling it as a construction waste. So what we have to do is we have to manage it properly or else it will create a threat to the environment. So the different types of uh, construction waste, so they are classified as three categories. First one is building materials, second one is stretching materials, and third one is hazardous waste. So in the building materials, the construction or demolition or even the restoration or remodeling of projects, that will produce a lot of building waste. So this may include the insulation, even the nails, electrical wiring, even the wood, plaster, metal, cement, and also a brick. So these materials will damage if it is unused, but it can be recycled and reused in other forms. And the second one is dredging material. So dredging material that are uh, coming out during the preparation of the construction or demolition site. So it may include the trees or uh, tree stumps, even the rubble or dirt or even the rock. So a waste management company can provide waste disposal and trash removal of uh, dredging materials. The third one is hazardous waste. The sites of the construction or demolition or even the restoration, they may produce the hazardous waste. So it includes the lead, even the asbestos, the paint, thinners, even the solvents, mercury, even fluorescent bulbs, etc. Okay? That will be coming out in the construction site. So that will damage the environment and they are hazardous in nature. So that kind of waste will come under the hazardous waste. And in the construction waste, from the renovation, the 40% of the waste will be generated. During the demolition, there will be around 50% waste will be generated. And during the new construction, around 10% of the waste will be generated. Then the sources of construction waste. The following are the sources. It might be a concrete, even brick, timber, centerware, glass, steel, and plastic. So we'll discuss in detail the concrete. Concrete is one of the most important uh, construction material. Right? So approximately one ton of concrete is used for capita per year throughout the world. So here, when it is uh, used, later there will be a waste will get generated after the use. So what we have to do is we have to reuse it. If we reuse the concrete, then it will reduce the cost of the aggregate. Even the disposal cost also can be reduced when the damage on the environment can be minimized and the consumption of the natural resources can be minimized. And the valuable landfill space utilization can also be minimized. So for that, what we have to do is, whatever the concrete is uh, discarded as waste, that has to be recycled. Next, second one is brick. So broken and discarded brick can be used as a construction infill or as an aggregate for non-structural concrete. So these bricks can be chipped and used in the landscapes too. And brick 
are the part of demolished rubble and can be crushed and uh, can be used in the same way as we are going to use it as a final ingredient. And the third one is timbo. So timbo, again it can be crushed into chip and can be used as a fuel and um, it can be used to manufacture the cheap concrete by injecting cement grout into wads of compacted wood chips in the mold and also wood chip concrete can be used as a building material so generally in india whatever the timber we are using that might be only for the uh, doors windows or for any storage items for that we can uh, we are going to use wood but in the foreign countries the in uh, wherever we are going to use the brick or stone for constructing the buildings right so that in the foreign countries what they do is they will be replacing that stone by the wood so then the wooden wood whatever is uh, generated as a waste will be more so that can be reused and then the next one is sanitary web so the sanitary ware includes the tails too. So it can be reused. If it is not damaged, then it can be used as it is. Suppose if it is damaged or if it is cracked, then what we can do is we can uh, make it as a pieces and that can be used as an aggregate. Next, it is glass. So generally, one ton of recycled waste glass will correspond to saving the energy, which is equivalent to 125 liters of the fuel oil and 1.2 tons of the raw material, which is used for manufacturing the glass. So this recycling of glass reduces the non-biodegradable glass out of the landfill. So this recycled glass can be used in the manufacture of mineral wool, which is used as insulation product and in granular form that can be used in the concrete. Next one is steel. So steel is most commonly used uh, metal in the world for the construction purpose. So steel reinforcement from demolished concrete is usually separated from the rubble on site and sold scrap to recycling waste. So that uh, scrap metal can yield energy saving up to 76% and whatever the steel used over all the world that is around the 783 million tons of the raw steel. So by the recycling, around 320 million tons of the uh, iron and steel recovery can be done every year. So that is, there is nothing but almost 40 to 45 percentage, whatever we are using, that is a recycled one. So that we can save the energy. Next, it is plastic. So even the plastic is... Um, used abundantly so we are getting the plastic waste also abundantly yeah, and we all know that it is very difficult to dispose the plastic so instead of disposing it what we have to do is we have to reuse so what we can do is waste plastic can be shredded and can be used as a filler in the other material that can, that is nothing but in the concrete or also in the construction of roads and when household plastic waste can be recycled to obtain the artificial lightweight aggregates for the mortar. So plastic reduces the possibility of uh, cracking. Right? In a mortar generally will observe the cracks. So if we use the, use the crack, plastic in the concrete, then that cracking can be minimized. The reasons for Increase of construction waste. So, what are all the reasons? So 
what we do is many of the old buildings or even the uh, roads or the bridges or any structure right when it reach its uh, time limit or it will have some uh, some lifespan when it reaches or when the lifespan of that uh, structure comes to an end then what we do will demolish it right and reconstruction we are going to do so during that time there will be a increase in the construction waste and obviously when we are going to uh, do the new construction there will be a generation of concrete waste and the structures which are turned into debris resulting from the natural disasters like earthquake or cyclone or floods what happens again we can observe the crack or damage to the building then what we have to either we have to repair or if it is entirely damaged then we have to demolish and again the new construction has to be takes place so because of all these reasons the construction waste will be increases and also one more thing if we want to renovate whatever uh, suppose for example where you are staying in a home whatever the architecture if you don't like it if you want to renovate it if you if you are economically strong then what you will do you will think that okay i'll however i want to do it i have the money i'll do it so during that time also that is during the renovation time also there will be a generation of construction waste next collection of construction waste how we are going to collect the waste so the construction and demolition waste include the waste forming during construction reconstruction repair or demolition of building so that construction and big sized waste uh, forming during this uh, construction or repair work so that can be collected in three ways that is on special routes or in construction waste containers or in big bag so if there is some special routes according to a schedule settled in advance waste is collected from yards or uh, yards of apartment buildings and sites of domestic waste containers located near buildings and in construction waste containers special metal containers are placed in residential or commercial areas or building lots so their capacity may be around 5 to 20 cubic meter then the third one is in big bag so here uh, a pre payable service is especially important to the individuals or the enterprises holding low, low amount of construction or big sized waste so those who are uh, repairing their homes or uh, willing to get rid of unnecessary, unnecessary thing also to those who are not willing to hire a construction container or have no place for it so they can go for the last type next treatment of construction waste so first one is manual separation whatever the waste suppose if there are an electrical wires if there is an uh, concrete or the glass what we can do is by the hand picking or what uh, the segregation can be done we have to pick the rest okay electrical wires separately glass separately concrete separately that can be done or the second one is screening and uh, conveyor picking so that is we have to pass it through the sieves there there will be a mechanical sieve so in that we have to sieve so what happens the larger particles will retain and the smaller particles will be sieved then what we have to do we have to pass that in the conveyor picking that is there will be an conveyor belt so through that we have to pass so in that belt when the waste is moving again we can segregate the waste we can pick there also then the third one is size reduction and mechanical separation so size reduction that what we are doing is if suppose if there is some concrete once we 
segregate the concrete what we have to we have to segregate or we have to separate the aggregates whatever is present so what we have to do or even if we want to minimize the size of the particle then we have to pass it to a shredder right suppose if there is some plastic if the uh, size is larger if you want to cut into smaller piece then we are going to pass it to the shredder that is size reduction we are reducing the size and then again the mechanical separation can be done and whichever is uh, re, uh, reusable that we have to take it and whichever is not at all useful then that will be collected and it will be dumped to the landfill site Next. the disposal of construction waste right? so whatever the materials which are inert in nature and which will not create chemical or biological uh, biochemical pollution what we have to do we have to dump it into the landfill generally the disposal of the uh, construction and demolition waste will be after recovering the reusable materials we are going to dump it in the landfills or suppose if any quarries or uh, mines are there if you want to close it there also we can dump the construction and demolition waste thank you